So I don't know how much use this video is going to be to anyone, but uh, just in case it is of use. Um, I used to have a DJI Phantom, and uh, I've got rid of it to get the DJI Mavic, but it's not out yet, the Mavic, it's pre-ordered. Um, now when I had the Phantom, I built a, a sunshade, because I found I couldn't see my iPad Air screen um, in anything other than really kind of overcast skies um, and it's a pretty Heath Robinson effort this is it it's all cardboard and stuff but it does work and you can see there's the iPad screen underneath it and basically because it's so the iPad's so big um, the screen can be quite small at the top and basically I I can just put my head against it like this and um, when I'm flying and I've got the uh, the controller underneath and it's pretty much like a big head-up display kind of thing and it works pretty well. I found a sunshade itself isn't really that 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 good because um, when you think about it, it might be stopping the sun hitting the screen, but it's still very bright. So um, when you're looking at the screen, you're just seeing your face and the sky reflected back off it, and it doesn't really make a big difference. So really, you have to be right up against the screen, and then you get a good uh, a good experience. Now the problem is that with the iPad, the uh, DJI Mavic. Um, the controller doesn't allow for an iPad um, sized device, you need an iPhone type device. Um, so I got a second hand iPhone 6 um, uh, and I'm going to need to build some sort of sunshade around it. Now the problem is that um, as I say sunshades themselves aren't really that, that, um, that useful uh, in my experience. You know, you put a shade around it like this and you can probably even see, even today it's not very bright at all, but even with a shade around it, you're still seeing yourself reflected in it. You're still seeing the sky, which is probably extremely bright. They don't really work very well. So what I'd like to do is something similar so that I can put my head up against it. The problem is that because it's so small, um, that you'd have to have a big sort of tunnel up to here. Um, it's, it's just not going to be very efficient. What I need to do is have a... a a lens, something that's got a negative diopter, sorry, a positive diopter on it, and kind of reading glasses type thing, um, to, to let me get closer to it. Anyway, long and the short is, if you're still watching at this point, here's my solution. So I designed and printed this in 3D. Um, the phone goes in the bottom here, um, and there's a, basically a sunshade. So here's your sunshade, okay. Um, so I can slide the phone on the bottom. That's a nice tight fit. And uh, you know, if all you want is a sunshade and it's not too bright, that might be enough. Also, it lets me touch the screen and control the screen. So remember, if you look at what the controller's like, that's going to be not in the way of anything. So it's going to be coming up. The controller's up here. So I'm flying it and I've got a sunshade. Great. But for times when I really want to get close to the screen and really control the camera exactly, I really want a little bit more control and I really want to be able to see exactly what I'm, I'm, I'm videoing. And that's where this comes in. So I just flip that up and you can see it's got a lens in the top. And this allows me to um, to get right up to the screen. And when, I, when I'm viewing it, I just get a full head up display screen. Just like, you know, um, Google, Google um, Cardboard or something like that. Um, so again, it's perfectly usable, so I'm up here, I'm flying, put the screen up, and then I've had enough, and I can go back to my normal view, up here, and there we are, flying normally. The other thing that this helps with is that uh, you're flying legally, so you, you're supposed to fly always within line of sight. That means that, strictly speaking, if you're just flying yourself, um, using head-up displays isn't really legal to the ANO, because you, you're not in direct um, line of sight with your your drone but with this you can be so you can put this on and one eye is always free so with my other eye I am viewing the drone in reality and in my left eye I'm viewing the camera output and because of the way the optics are working here um, both my eyes are focused um, at infinity so it's very easy to keep both eyes open and see both at the same time so it, it works pretty well so far. I won't be able to tell until I actually get it, but you can see that I've designed it so that it, it, uh, it doesn't get in the way of the actual controller bits and bobs. Um, the actual design itself, uh, say 3D printed, 
Um, there's some magnets I've put in the top here, which just clip this in place. As I say, it's very easy to just flip it down, flip it up when you need it, and the phone just slides in the bottom nice and tightly. So um, maybe that's of use to some other people um, who, who want to build something similar. I may get around to putting this design up on Thingiverse for anyone that's um, interested. Um, it should work with uh, any other iPhone 6, but obviously if you get a different phone, you'll need to do something differently. So there we go, and um, you can see the, just show you it from different angles. The reason this is so thick is for extra strength, because it, it, it's, it's, um, it's mounted here only with the uh, only with the compression between the two pieces of plastic, so it has to be, it, it bends otherwise. So I went through a couple of iterations before I got to this. And you see there's a little clip here that keeps the phone in that side. There's a hinge here, okay, I've just got a little bit of carbon fibre rod in there. Um, and then we've got the optic in the top. As I say, usually you'd be able to use just something like, uh, something out of Google Cardboard or something like that. Here I had a little macro lens that I had spare from somewhere else anyway, so I've just used that. Uh, and the distance here uh, has to be set depending on your lens you've got to make sure that you can view things nice and in focus um, uh, with whatever distance your your, uh, your optics need. If I move this lens up right up to the camera, oh, there you go. So uh, you can see that's what you're looking at when you look through the lens. Being bigger than that actually takes most of your, your eye up. And then pop it down, normally use it, pop it up, stick your eye to it, pop that. And uh, you can see that I can use this at the same time as actually watching the drone in the sky. So it has that benefit. Um, and it's small enough and doesn't really weigh anything extra. So, uh, you know, you might be down here looking at it, up here, whatever. Um, so I think it's a good compromise between goggles and uh, and no goggles.